hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing very well today i'm going to be showing you how i made this beautiful outfit i am very happy with this i love the way it's turned out and i am pleased with myself um thanks to the many youtube videos out there you can really learn anything if you put your mind to it so i am going to be showing you how i achieved this look and just stay tuned if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please make sure you do so and also remember to turn on the notification bell so that every time there is a new video you will be notified now let's get on to the tutorial before we start you're going to need the items listed on the screen right now once you have the fully pair of shorts fold it like half done and ensure the cut area is nicely pulled out now place the short on your fabric ready to place onto the fabric. We will need to cut out four identical pieces all together. Now if you're working with yards of fabric, you will need to fold the fabric into four places and that way if you just put your short on to the fabric, you'll be able to cut out four pieces all at once. But because I'm recycling an old garment, I'm going to be cutting mine out for no, two at a time. As far as the length goes, I went ahead and added 6 extra inches to mine because I want the shorts to be longer than the pair of shorts that I'm using as my pattern. I'll, I'll be sure to add the measurements that I use in the description box below. Once everything is in place, you are ready to start cutting. Always remember to add an extra inch around the perimeters of the shorts that you're cutting for sewing allowance. Now we have our first set of two cut out. So go ahead and repeat the same thing until you have four identical pieces. I decided to add inner pockets to my shorts so I went ahead and cut four different pieces for my pocket now i don't have a pattern for this i just freestyled it but if you would like to add pockets to yours and you cannot freestyle it like i have done just go ahead and look for a garment in the house that already has a pocket and just use that as your pattern the pocket pieces will be attached to the front side of the shorts not the cut side now i position the pocket pieces at the 10 centimeter mark from the waist so this 10 centimeter that i've left is going to be the space we will use for our elastic much later on once you have your marking and you've positioned your pocket piece in a place that you're happy with now go ahead and use your pin to just pin it down and ready for sewing repeat the process for all four pieces now that we're done pinning we're ready to sew our pocket pieces in place remember to do a back stitch at the beginning and at the end of the sewing So the next step is for us to iron out the seams. So now make sure you press it so that the pocket is coming away from the shorts as I am doing. And repeat the process for all four. Now we are ready to pair up our short pieces and pin them in place ready for sewing. Your pocket pieces should also match up. If it doesn't, then there is a problem somewhere. At this point, make sure that the right side of your fabrics are on the inside and the outside part are the wrong sides. Now 
So now we're going to start sewing our side seam. So once you get to the pocket, you need to pivot like I'm going to be doing right here and sew around the pocket and come back and continue sewing your side seam. I hope that makes sense. Now the next step is for us to sew the crotch side. Now this time around we're not sewing from the top, we're sewing from the bottom up. So we're going to start sewing from the bottom and stopping at the crotch. Repeat process for the other pair. Now go ahead and match your crotch area on both pairs like I'm doing right now and secure them in place with your pins. Pin from the crotch all the way to the top of the shorts. Now that we're done with pinning, we're going to sew all the way around our pinned areas starting from the waist side through to the crotch and finishing up on the other side of the waist. This part of the sewing is a little bit tricky because you're working with the crotch area. Even for myself, I struggled a little bit to figure it out, but I just took my time. I took a few deep breaths and I just worked it out at my own pace. Yay, my mom made it. So crotch area is done and looks perfect. Now the next step is for us to make the encasing for our elastic. Wait, remember the 10 centimeter allowance that I had in the beginning? Now we're going to be using that. Fold your shorts 10 centimeter in and pin that in place. Once that is done, you want to mark about 5cm in all the way around your, the waist of your shorts. Now the first sewing we're going to be doing is going to be on the 10cm mark. 
we're going to sew all the way around but leaving a gap that will allow us to feed in our elastic in the end the second sewing that we're going to be doing is going to be at the five centimeter mark which is now going to form our encasing for the elastic so now that we're done sewing all the way around we are ready to fit in our elastic through the gap that we left if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you do so and also remember to turn on that So we now need to overlap the elastic by about an inch and just sew over it to secure it. You can use a zigzag stitching here just to give it that extra reinforcement. Looking good, looking good, we are making progress. Now we're going to sew the gap that we used to fit in the elastic and the waist is done. Next step is for us to finish off the ends of our trousers. Now I've decided to do a double fold in to hide the frill ends and also make it look neat. Now that we're nearly done, we're ready to put our belt holder in place. I've gone ahead and created my belt holder just using a piece of fabric. Now I'm gonna go ahead and create my belt out of leftover fabric. This is going to be our final step in the process. Once this is done, your trouser is ready to be used. Now we are ready to make our tube top. What you need is just uh, some elastic bands, um, your fabric that is already cut out, the measurements I used is on your screen right now. The first thing we need to do is sew the sides together. Also make sure that the right side of your fabric are on the inside. Now we are ready to make the encasing for our elastic on either ends of the fabric to make our tube top. I went ahead and fold about an inch all the way around. This should be enough gap to encase the elastic. Make a mark with your pin where you're going to leave a gap to fit in your elastic. Now go ahead and sew all the way around. Repeat process for the other end we are nearly there guys now we just need to fit in our elastic on both ends and make sure to close the gap afterwards And there you have it, our tube top is ready. I hope you have enjoyed watching today's video. If you have any questions or any comments, make sure you drop them below and I'll be sure to respond to your questions. Until next time, keep safe.